Hello everyone, April has been both a busy and a quiet month for me and in this video I thought I would share what I've been up to. To begin with, I signed a contract for my new part-time job at the gym. Then my dad and I went up to our little cottage in the north. The reason we went up this early in the year was because we had a break-in in my and my boyfriend Christopher's cabin a couple of months ago, also known as the shed we rebuilt into a bedroom last summer. I've heard a story, I've heard it said, I've come to believe that love is a boy from Eternabro. We got in the car early on a Wednesday morning and I drove the whole way, which is 400 kilometers. It felt great because I had never driven so far before. For those of you who don't know, I'm in the process of getting my driver's license right now so I can travel on my own in the future. Bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down. Då är vi klara på max, jag ska låsa upp bilen här så pappa hoppar in. Yes. Ja, jag tror du ska sitta på pappa. Ja, jag ska sitta där. Du vill bara vara i bild. After we had eaten we went to a grocery store called Coop to buy some food for the next few days. Där har vi handlat klart på väg till bilen igen. En hel kassa. En hel kassa med mat. After six long hours of driving, we finally arrived at the cottage and started unloading all the bags from the car, checking if it was warm enough outside to start the water system. We have a sound system, a warm water generator. So we have a rear cockpit with a trace. So we have no water in the house now. No. Men vi hade ju planerat att inte ha mm. något vatten också. Så att det är 40 inget... lite vatten. Ja, men 40 alltså. lite vatten. <laughs> And we also inspected how bad the door was after the break-in in the cabin. As you may know, my boyfriend and I do not have a real bed in our cabin yet. So I decided to take my sleeping bag to my parents' house and sleep on their couch this time. Then we carried the large water bottle into the cottage before it was time to take out the boots and go for a long walk. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the night of fighting. So smooth the Norlanding in the jacket. I feel like smooth the Norlanding. Hey darling, we can get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. When we got back it was quite late and we had already eaten on the way up so we decided to just have a cup of tea. Tevattnet är igång. Then I went out to get a bucket of water to flush down the toilet and I saw this magical sunset. Now it's tea and... Maryland cookies. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. The next day, Dad repaired the water pipe, so we had running cold water in the cottage, which was better than nothing. Then we went to a cozy place by the sea to drink a cup of coffee. Hello, Captain.
Tussi Lago här. And then it was time to try to fix the door, but after a lot of work we realized that it probably needs to be replaced. Yes. Oh. So we took a break from the broken door and took a bike ride to an old ironworks instead. I actually have ancestors who have worked as blacksmiths, so it always feels special to be in places like this. And we also ended this day by watching a magical sunset. I don't think it seems like a good on på video som i verkligheten. And the next few days we spent celebrating Easter by giving each other Easter eggs. <laughs> We also went to a lake. On the way there there are warning signs for bears so it was a bit scary to walk through the forest now that they have cubs. Vad sa du? Nej jäklar. But once at the lake I just felt calm. We grilled marshmallows which was so cozy and tried to watch the sunset even though it was cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> Här har vi månen mellan träden också så himla magiskt. On the way back, however, we happened to get lost and I got stuck in the snow that was more than a meter deep. Jag hoppas. Och nu har jag fastnat. Jag tror att det går hela vägen upp till knät. Jag säger Jag säger <laughs> I think this is one of my funniest memories together with my dad. As soon as we got home from the north, a hectic week started with training on my new part-time job. I spent four full days learning all the new computer system, routines, etc. And honestly, I had no energy to film during this time. And all of a sudden it was Valborg, a Swedish holiday we celebrate the last of April every year. And for those of you who don't know, we collect large piles of twigs, branches and woods, which we then set on fire. This always feels like a magical time for me. And this year we watched when the pile was set on fire and then we opened a bottle of sparkling wine to celebrate that the spring is finally here. So that's what I've been up to this past month. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>